the getting ready. Should keep us company. Oh, here we go. This is Champions Cup. I think you need one of the sugars. Oh, the it's getting worse if I take no. the sugar. Okay, this is Champions Cup uh, 2017 here in Berlin. And we have Copenhagen against Black Mermaids. Let's see how it goes. Black Mermaids. In white. In white. Copenhagen in blue. So we have and the Black Swedish Mermaids are girls attacking. attacking and... Uh, So we uh, the first uh, seconds we spent exclusively in the, uh, in the Copenhagen part of the pool, and now uh, Copenhagen tries to break free, but they are stopped immediately. And uh, again, uh, attack from uh, from Black Mermaids on the basket but they are uh, the player on the close side is tackled away to the surface pushes the ball with both hands and now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation and that that's a quite a chance to score coming above the goalkeeper and she tried to pull away the head but there was a call goal before right no there was a goal i thought there was a call number before five. the number five uh before the goal because she touched the head but that goal counts and it's a first goal for the Black Mermaids from Sweden against Copenhagen from Denmark in blue. So let's see if uh, the Danish women uh, manage to break through into the half of uh, the Swedish women. They might know each other from uh, tournaments um, in the Nordic uh, countries. Well, they have been meeting every year in the Champions Cup since many, many years, so that they're not new to each other. The goalie of the Black Burbies is holding herself against the wall. That's normally forbidden, even if you are not under attack. So let's see, we have the Danish attacking and, and she has the ball and just pulled the goalie away and really almost... Very nice well, attack. Now, Whoa. That was a score. That was a, a quick was response. That was a good goal. thing. I mean, they attack over the open Blue side team, and then managed to move the ball on the other side and eventually it was such a chaotic situation that they scored. I mean, it's really the really fourth mistake. It was and, a good attack. If you catch a goal and you respond to, to the goal with another goal within this short of time, that's, that's a boost. Yeah. So both teams are in the, in the, the same... Uh, uh, level now so far, yeah. and uh, this is going to be an interesting game with now uh, we see Sweden trying to tank through to the basket of uh, uh, Copenhagen and uh, even they are pushed away they recover the ball and go in again but the defense is quite heavy and it's, uh, it consists mostly of tackling away the the attacker uh, with a defender and being replaced by another defender on this position. So this is effective, but not the most beautiful way to play. But here we go, the ball is falling, almost falling down in the open water. Recovered by a Swedish player. And she goes in from the open side, but uh, is not really on ball control. Uh, but still managed to pass on to her teammate. And the teammate is tackled away to the surface. Like I said, not the best style to play. Um, not most beautiful, but uh, well, undiscussable, effective. And now we have an attack on the close side, and um, these last seconds definitely belong to the Swedish team. And yeah, they're uh, more in ball, ball control, yeah. a little bit more. I mean, at least are, we are in the area of the Danish uh, team. And Levent Kavas is uh, saying hello on the chat. Hello. Hey, Levent. Levent. How are you? Well, best wishes back to you. We hope you're fine. Uh, uh, we just uh, told the story about the 400 euros for each national player who's in college, and everybody was uh, Everyone in awe. Everyone now wants a Turkish citizenship and become yeah. a student. Can we Turkey. become Rural Turkish Rural uh, students, Rural please, and play on the national team? <laughs> okay, back in the game. Sorry, we have to um, be in the game. That's what we promised. We have to think about uh, this blue being free throw time, please. blue free throw. We have to think about the way we're commenting about a radio session with people not able to watching what we tell them. So we have to be precise in what we see and describe it as much as we can. Yeah, you are right. So what are they doing, the Danish <laughs> girls? Tell me. So they're coming from above trying to attack the Swedish 
goalie but uh, we're a bit stopped so pass go back and try to start the second way from there i mean that's the thing if you enter and you cannot score then you have to be able to go back to start and continue the wave i mean it does not use and going into two three four of the opponent and then losing the ball and having a counter attack so that's that's effective attacking. holding without ball free throw against um, White free throw. Copenhagen and we have uh, four Back. 30 minutes left Back. in the first half first half move backwards backwards so uh, the referee is telling uh, the uh, uh, Copenhagen girls to leave more distance to the the one player executioning the the free throw. Yeah, remember, have to have a two meter distance uh, from to the, the the person that is uh, doing the the free throw, and this person has also three seconds to um, play the ball once the horn. Uh, that was a uh, nice uh, one on one situation yeah. with a bad. Uh, pass finish into the open water very well uh, fought by the Copenhagen girl but she just threw the ball in the wrong direction said after putting so much energy into getting it call from the referee what do we have free throw the Copenhagen girls already yeah. defend their basket okay white number 14 warning kicking in the face ouch warning Blue for kicking throw. in the face face kicking. We were talking yesterday in the academy about uh, kicking and Manuel said he would forbid Base kicking 14. at once and I agree with him. Had a bad uh, rib cruise, bruise once was kicked in the ribs. Um, here we go, Copenhagen very well uh, uh, defended the wall by this attacker and now they go in from the open side but it's she couldn't get free of the ball to pass it on to her teammate now she did but the other teammate is tackled away too both teams rely heavily on tackling their opponents away if they uh, try to get to the basket and it seems to be uh, successful in a way it's not uh, the most beautiful way to play but here we have uh, Copenhagen going in from the open side that that's a chance she was under the the body of the goalkeeper that's yeah. it yep she didn't know anymore where the ball yeah. was. She was looking Goal actually blocking. from the open side and expected that uh, the Danish girl came number from the two. close side. Blue team side. number two. Number it two. Who is number two? And it the looks like uh, these two teams are uh, on the same level and uh, could go two, both ways. Pernille Linert Jensen. In the beginning I thought uh, uh, the mermaids dominate them, the, the Copenhagen team, but Right now, I have to admit it's not true. No, it's very tight. Uh, right no. now, actually, the Danish team was a little bit more effective, but I don't know why they're leaving the basket empty until really long. Um, the it the coach really from them tried to explain it to me. I didn't understand it that, but they uh, he said they wait uh, to to keep the players free. I think. Okay, but it's a to risky have move. More I yeah, mean, so far risky. it worked out, but yeah. it's a little bit risky. He told me w last time we did misunderstand it his strategy. Okay. So uh, it's okay. I mean, I under, uh, it's a efficient strategy and it works. Right if you control but the game, you can do that. Me being so a goalie, yeah. We have another attack. I'd rather be there one second earlier than later because then you li you lie better and can defend yourself better. See. That's my experience, but you know, everyone is different. And we always see different strategies in the teams. Uh, the way they. Uh, variate uh, these basic uh, defending attacking styles so ball was falling down recovered uh, by Copenhagen and Copenhagen is now again attacking trying to break through the defense from the close side but uh, the mermaids actually the white mermaids because they are wearing, <laughs> they're wearing white um, the white black mermaids. Yeah, the once black mermaids, now white, uh, are in ball possession and they uh, try to break through, but they are heavily uh, interrupted by the Danish team. The, the Danish team in the middle. There's a good forechecking, heavy forechecking, very physically with a um, whole body uh, tackling. So they couldn't get through yet. 
and the time is ticking for the first half and we have a 2-1 uh, lead for Copenhagen. Yes, I mean, it's, it's quite a tight game tight and they have both similar tactic. Um, so it's, it's about who can force a mistake on the other more or, well, if maybe one player, I mean, if you are very nervous and tense, then you have less air and then eventually uh, if you're under stress because they're attacking or building up waves, uh, eventually you can leave a, uh, a gap and then, you know, get another counter tour, so a counter goal. So this uh, game is not uh, decided yet. Uh, no, we have two uh, one and ten minutes to go, anything yeah. is possible. And it's a difference if we have a zero one because Probably the other team is not able to score, but in a, a zero to a two to one, uh, you know both teams are able to score in this co in this uh, um, meeting of the two teams, and uh, that could be uh, interesting in the second half now to see these uh, how these teams change their strategy because now they uh, their coaches in the water saw what the other teams are trying to do and they will instruct them to ch probably change their strategy or tell them okay now forget everything, go for the goal or um, whatever, the defense. Well, I mean, Clara is and, and Andrea are telling us here that uh, they have been practicing this for a few years uh, now and they go from the goalkeeper down to defender position before they reach yeah. the surface. So That's in, what in I theory, thought. that means more foreshaking. Uh, yes. It's I mean, not the easiest way to, to play, I think. Uh, you have to be yeah, quite in control. You have to be very disciplined and you, yeah. have, you need to have a, a good condition. So, so if you do that, uh, you know you have to know what you do and that's, uh, that's good. If you have more people free for foot checking, you are stronger in yeah. that, in that field I in front that, of the goal. I guess this Swedish tactic the, um, expanded a lot in rugby, this having this, this, this goalkeeper and that's defender. And we forget that uh, b many years ago they um, really didn't play with defenders. The goalkeeper would play a seat in front and then eventually go on top of the of the basket if necessary. And everyone else was just for taking, and, and it was a different game. So yeah, I mean I think it's interesting, and you need to adapt um, the tactic to the team you have according to the abilities they have, and. Uh, you know, many, many things are possible. I'm looking forward to see in the future, we talked about this in the academy, how different styles from teams will influence the way they play. And the <coughs> we see getting uh, players getting stronger and faster and more conditioned. That yeah, would probably okay. change even the way we play with the strategy we play today. Okay, five seconds. We're back now, and this is going to be a very uh, interesting back in the second day, half. It was eight against eight, and now we are yeah. six against yeah. six. So maybe we ended up with four against maybe four. Maybe we'll see changes in, in the future. In a 20-meter pool. <laughs> so here we go, um, back again in the game, and uh, it's still everything is open, and we have uh, a mermaid trying to to swim free, passing forward to her colleague. She's all alone, has to go right in front above the basket of Copenhagen and now the ball is free we're under the basket on the open side of Copenhagen ball is passed to the close side but the uh, the defense of Copenhagen is wide awake they saw what's happening and they are intercepted the pass and we're now as much as we can see on the surface in the corner of the close side of the Danish basket and a call from the referee It was uh, one of the referees in the water. Let's hear what he says. Blue free throw! So it's against the mermaids and they already protect their basket. We saw a lot of uh, basket stealing in this Champions Cup, in the first day of the Champions Cup here. Okay, let's see how uh, Copenhagen goes into the game now in front of the basket of the mermaids and if the mermaids have a new strategy uh, how they keep Copenhagen away from scoring it's a 1-0 lead uh, for Copenhagen yeah and I think that the Swedish four checkers should be a little bit more aggressive I mean they're trying to be on the ball but still they're not disturbing the Danish enough 
and they need to recover that ball soon if they want to make a difference. I mean, it's eight minutes, but it's effective time, so eight minutes go fast like nothing. And they need to start a counter-attack and, and building up the attacking, the attack, so they can be maybe eventually score. And we have the Danish girl right under the goalie with the ball, trying to be tackled away by the defenders of the, Dan the Swedish team. But still being in possession of the ball. This is what I like a lot. Look, they, they go in and out with the ball and they're still in possession and build up again. Um, this is something we didn't see a lot in the yeah. women games it's so very far. It's very disciplined. I mean, we, we saw it with, yeah. the, with the Akaren, we saw it with the Germans. Here we go. And now we have Danish players. We have more Danish players than, than Swedish uh, by the goalie right now. So the ball is somewhere in the surface and they're and the Swedish uh, um, succeeded in keeping the ball away and they're swimming, trying to swim away now. But the ball seems to be above the Swedish basket. And uh, we see the ball falling down. There's a call from the referee. 219 people in the live chat. Holding white free throw. Free throw. Against Copenhagen. Uh, for the wide for the Swedish team for, because of holding. And free throw. And see how it was executed, but it's always interesting how fast uh, the teams. And another call. Some Black seconds after. Ball out of the surface. Oh, yeah. okay. That was a flying ball. And uh, Copenhagen is already waiting for the free throw to intercept. And there's already one uh, Swedish player in a one-on-one -on -one fight with a Copenhagen with a Danish player. Here we go. Uh, the Danish players. More chocolate, Luke. chocolate, 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 chocolate. Danish players are Just in the tag Barcelona mode. Barcelona girl, thank you guys. And uh, here we are. That's another fine attack, and there is a one player waiting on the open side, and uh, the 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 player that came from the close side was tackled away by a Swedish player, and there's a heavy pressure on the close side now on the head of the of the goalkeeper and the goal is uh, practically empty but uh, we have a cluster going up to the surface and all right so we have now the that's it's, it's a dangerous recovery. situation because even if we're a little bit far away from the basket it's, it's still empty there's no defender waiting or no goalkeeper well but you cannot see we cannot see sadly the surface oh, if they're waiting the on the time, surface that's sometimes. true yeah that's true so four minutes 30 left it's still a lead for uh, with one goal for copenhagen and they can if they are in attack they don't even have to score to win this game and they but it looks like they want to to score more two players waiting at the basket and they score they score from the open yeah. side i mean great job from the danish team Goal, i mean blue team number 10 number 10 from the danish girls is let's see Number 10 is Laila List. Timeout, white team. Timeout Time out for Sweden. 3-1. I think they didn't expect it, but the the the, Nor the Norwegian. Good. Sorry, the Danish uh, team has been more consequent and had been more. What is it? Yeah, it, it looks. Of the ball yeah. Because uh, the Swedish girl can do that as well, but because they show us, but um, I don't know why they cannot keep it as constant well, as the uh -huh. Danish team have done it from Copenhagen and uh, it's, just, it's fun to watch uh, how the, the, the Copenhagen team you know do the defense get the ball go towards uh, the, the, the Swedish uh, side and, and build up one two three and by the four wave they have the ball inside I mean it's really 
it's, nice. it's, it's very uh, it's, it's not decided yet we have and, and uh, I, and I we guess have some minutes well left yeah but, but it's 3-1 and okay. the problem is that now the, the, the Copenhagen seconds, team, team is gets more ready. in control and the Swedish are getting a bit more desperate so that's Team's a bad combination ready. because sometimes that, that that sometimes can be on your side if you are you know this um, um, desperate to turn the, the, the game around but time times not so let's see I mean three and a half minutes to get two well, goals if they play like they played at the beginning they could but yeah, yeah. I don't know if they can get so let's there. see if they throw themselves more in the water open up more and uh, risk catching another goal but all that can happen they lose the game um, but if you lose with a four or five uh, one uh, or you go forward and do, yeah. do a chance and uh, go for the chance of scoring uh, and maybe win you should do that but uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one fight on the surface and again and probably Copenhagen is holding on to the ball right now uh, they the time is uh, ticking on their side so they only have to wait they have to you know ball control pass it they still have two scores over I mean above the, the, no. the Swedish team so they can have the luxury to, throw, you know, play as long as they attack, it's it's uh, the perfect situation for them. That was interesting. Um, good, good morning from Ricardo. I mean, good night actually, dear. But hey, Ricardo, <laughs> how are you? Uh, Down uh, under. I asked before um, how many years uh, there is uh, rugby in Australia. I cannot remember if you told me it was five or ten years. So the, the the Swedish girls still do a very good job defending. It, I, I would never say they made many mistakes, but uh, the small mistakes they made, they were uh, well, rewarded with, it with was goals. Forced. It was forced yeah. by the Danish girls, the, the mistakes they did. It was it was not like uh, luck. Uh, it was really well played. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the Danish but moved the ball around so that the, the Swedish girl didn't know anymore uh, where the ball, the ball was. The goalie for the ball was... Um, bop, 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 bop. Above Goal above all. Ball. For pa above all. Ah. Concentrate for on the game. Ball. So now yes. we have the Danish coming again. And from the other side, they receive the ball, pass it to the partner. And normally, it's the girl that is underneath the back of the goalie. They get the and ball they, and they can really push it away. They really get tight waves in. No call from the referee, no goal. But it's really tight waves. They don't have big waves, there, but they go in like uh, bam, 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 bam. So call from the referee. Let's listen. What? Penalty. 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 All right, we have a penalty here. Well, it could be, you know, when you get the, the, the work. One goalkeeper, the others. I was surprised that when the, the attacker from the Danish team was underneath the back of the goalie, you could see she was with the ball and push with the shoulder and that girl barely moved. So, Maybe yeah. it was with the shoulder. I was once lifting up a, a goalkeeper and the goal went up with him. So that was a clear sign. Something is wrong One here. One attacker, please. All right. Have you done it? Have you done it? Blow. Oh yeah, I'm done. Ah, time out. Okay. Four. Good strategy. Time out, blue. Especially if you have uh, only some damage. minutes left. Yeah, maybe they want to, you know, catch some air. Yeah, and they, wanna, they have nothing to lose, so they can concentrate, refocus. If you go in a rush in a penalty, it's always more exhausting. You shouldn't do that, probably. <coughs> so they made a, a good chance. Yeah, Ricardo. Ricardo is writing us uh, from uh, Australia. He said uh, uh, rugby started uh, probably in 2007 in Sydney. Um, but the development took a little bit more in 2013. Then they had the first national. So ten years, let's say ten years ago, rugby Sydney, started. Yeah. Tasi, Brisbane, and Canberra. And uh, highly influenced by uh, one Turkish player, I think, and from uh, Colombian players, like Ricardo. Mm -hmm. so. Teams getting ready. One attacker, one goalkeeper. Other player expedites the playing field. What number does the attacker have? The defender probably will be Anne-Sophie. That's number two for the 
uh, Copenhagen and the defender Copenhagen number two is uh, Pernille 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 and Niner. defender I guess it is Anne Sophie I would have guessed who the, 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 the defender the but the I don't I think ah that's that's uh, evil just uh, ha but very well done by the goalkeeper moving a lot and now she got her around uh, the rump and that's the wow she's going up interesting 18 seconds going down again this is a time play and it's in favor of the goalkeeper if she can hold the air and she does a very good job seven six five and she cannot push her up that's crazy two one she did hold it wow wow impressive no good good job. impressive good job great job and the referees are already waiting to pull her off because these 45 uh, seconds can always be Stop. really hard which number was the defender so. don't didn't see it wow applause yep. it was, okay it was a very good Being chance ready. and the way she turned when she didn't see where the attacker was she was turning 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 not giving her a chance to getting hold of her well done nice play it's Anne Sophie that's yeah, Anne Sophie thought so great job I mean yeah very well okay black mermaids here we go I think oh. the time is not right you see right now yeah um, I think we have uh, only some uh, minutes left, uh, one or two minutes left, but the time uh, remade itself after the penalty. So the time you see is uh, not the right one, and it's uh, it's not zero zero, but a three to one lead for Copenhagen. Uh, so the game you see now is uh, Copenhagen against. Uh, Black Mermaids, so Denmark against Sweden, and it's a 3-1 lead for Denmark. And there's only some minutes left. I think the time is ticking now. Uh, one or two minutes, less than one minute probably. No, no, no. And we no. have a heavy attack Three on the Black Mermaid basket. I got it here. I think the referees are talking about the time too. But uh, the, the head referee has a, a watch, and that's what you always should do. And here's another chance for the uh, Copenhagen team to go in from the open side. But uh, very well defended. And the time is ticking, ticking, ticking. And uh, even with a good score on their side, uh, the Danish women are attacking heavily and are now tackled on the surface by the Black Mermaid. And I guess uh, we see the last second. Okay. Well, so I didn't check uh, what time it was uh, last time we saw the right time. Ah, here, now we have a 3 0. Uh, but I think the, the clock is not right. Some minutes probably left. It should be over now. Feeling I have. But uh, Copenhagen is still uh, relentlessly attacking, coming from the close side and going down on the pool, bottom pushing onto the defense. But now the defense of Sweden is giving uh, their last ounce of air. Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes, okay, two minutes left. Uh, so I uh, under overestimated uh, the time already gone. Uh, very well defense job now by uh, the mermaids. And I think they're uh, really on the limit of their capacity. And Copenhagen pushes really hard on the basket. Okay. Uh, it should be less than two minutes. Uh, we're going in one minute. And the referee is uh, taking the time. So don't worry. The time scale we see right now is not right there. Six minutes, 45 is not right. We are uh, probably one minute left in this game, uh, but the score is right. It's 3-0 for three the 3-1, sorry, 
one. Yeah, the sugar now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for Copenhagen. And Copenhagen is uh, pushing, pushing hard. And there's another goal. 4 1. Wow. Good job. I mean, it's amazing because they start quite tight. And then Copenhagen. Goal. Mm -hmm. Blue team number two. They. Uh, one minute and five seconds still to play. One minute, five seconds. Number two, Per Mille. Um, Minert. Yeah, she has been doing most of the goals. Yeah. <laughs> She's the goal getter. So, yeah, a really good shot from the goalie, from Anne Sophie. She just stayed down there and did a very good job not getting out of her uh, comfort zone and uh, staying on the basket when she did this penalty and moving a lot. So now Black Merits are attacking. Uh, it will be almost impossible for them to turn the game around now, but at least they could score one more time and put the 4-1 into a 4-2, which is always nicer for a, for a team to finish. Um, so they uh, have fought for two goals, even though they lost. But the time is ticking and it's not looking like uh, Copenhagen let that happen. We're on the surface, don't see the ball, the ball is falling down. Left. Copenhagen in ball possession, going for the mermaid position. That's it. Time over. That was a nice game. That was an uh, um, interesting game with the two teams. In the beginning, I'd say, on the same level, but then Copenhagen uh, yeah, like, uh, moved uh, above yeah. uh, the Swedish mermaid.